As a young couple, James and Angela Hughes invested their life savings to launch a business in the home health care field. It was all consuming. Um, we no longer had any time for church, for prayer, um, fellowship with other believers. Um, we weren't tithing. Despite all their hard work and the income pouring in, they weren't making a profit. It was very hard as a man from, a, I guess, a, a standpoint of just being a provider. Um, no matter how much money we would make, it just, at the end of the month, there was more month than there was money. We learned quickly that without doing things the Lord's way, it just doesn't work. The Hughes's eventually had to close the business and declare personal bankruptcy. We lost everything, even our vehicles. We didn't have a vehicle. We didn't have a home anymore. Um, we were selling our furniture. We lost everything. We had to file for unemployment. Um, we had to apply for food stamps. The couple desperately cried out to God for help. I remember getting on our knees in the living room and holding hands. And I remember when I got off of my knees after saying that prayer, I just felt a weight, you know, be lifted. Maybe two or three days after that prayer, we were watching the 700 Club and Pat Robinson was teaching on the laws of reciprocity. The action that you need to take, he says, give. It really kind of dawned on us that uh, this is what God wants us to do. And, uh, and from there, then, you know, that's when we started tithing. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. Now that's the law of reciprocity. James and Angela were so committed to the biblical principles they had just learned that they began tithing to their local church and giving to the 700 Club from their unemployment checks. Soon, doors opened up for the Hughes to start a new business inspecting homes for banks. The orders began pouring in. He wants a heart and uh, he wants us to have faith in him. In 2012, the Hughes Company grossed over a million dollars. Today, they're members of the 700 Club's chairman's circle. Take him at his word, and that's one thing we all have to learn how to do. Me, Angela, viewers, and just all of us, we need to learn how to take God at his word.